everybody, my name is Julia and I'm a second year life science student at the University of Toronto. I'm currently doing a double major in evolutionary biology and immunology and I'm super excited to be doing this video with you today. We're going to be doing floating rice, so let's get started. For this experiment you will need an empty glass or plastic bottle, enough dry rice to fill that bottle, a chopstick or skewer, and a piece of white paper or a funnel if you have one. First up, you're going to roll your piece of paper into a cone shape to help you get the rice into the bottle. If you have a funnel, you can skip this step. Put your cone or funnel into the bottle and start adding about a quarter cup of rice at a time, tapping in between each addition. You may want to use a spoon to help you. It is very important to tap the bottle in between each addition of rice. Continue until the bottle is almost full. That leads us to our question of the day. Why do you think tapping in between each edition is so important? Take a minute and pause this video to think about it and come up with an answer. Once your bottle is mostly full, take your skewer or chopstick and push it firmly into the middle and lift. You may need to tap once or twice more. Now you have floating rice. Now why does this happen? When you add rice to the bottle without tapping, it looks something like this. There are many air pockets in between the grains of rice and very little friction. Friction is the resistance force that happens when two things rub together. Friction is very important in everyday life and is the reason you can stand up without sliding to the ground. When you tap between each addition, the rice looks more like the picture on the right. There are less air pockets and the grains are closer together so they rub together more and have more friction. Then, when you push the skewer in, since there is very little space and lots of friction, the skewer pushes the rice aside, shown by the blue arrows. Since there is lots of friction, the rice pushes back on the skewer, shown by the red arrows, holding the skewer in place so you can lift up the bottle. As mentioned, friction is the resistant force that happens when two objects rub together. There is static friction, which happens when two objects are touching but neither are moving, and kinetic friction, where two objects are touching and at least one is moving. Friction happens all the time in everyday life. For example, brakes in cars or on bikes use friction. When a car is moving forward, the force of movement is greater than the force of friction. This force of movement comes from gas or batteries in the car that cause the wheels to spin. However, when you need to stop and push on the brakes to do so, the brake squeezes on the tire, increasing the friction between the tire and the brake, causing this tire to slow its spinning. Eventually, the force of friction, which works against the car moving, is greater than the force to move forward, and the car stops moving. To summarize, tapping decreases the amount of spaces between the grains of rice, increasing friction. Friction locks the skewer or chopstick in place so that the rice floats. Try this experiment at home and tag Pueblo Science with a photo or a video of your experiment. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get more fun science experiments. For more content, follow Pueblo Science on TikTok and Facebook. Thanks for watching!